In today's video, I got back my cards from BGS. What's up guys, we're back with another return video and I have cards from BGS. I have not submitted to BGS in a very long time. I submitted a few cards to BGS and let's see if we got any crazy grades. I think mostly they were pretty decent. We will have the pre-grades to see what I thought I was gonna get. Let's hop right into it, but we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think of the cards that we graded. How will the grades look? Do you think they were fair, not fair? And uh, let's just see. All right, I finally got one card out without spoiling it, because if you see the back of the, even the back of the label, it spoils it. So there's no real way that we can like look at this. I guess we could go like this. I mean, it's a little bit difficult. The back looks pretty clean. Now we've got to somehow flip these around. I'm going to do this without looking. Okay, Yada Garasu Starlight Rare. So, I mean, this should be a good grade. It was straight out of the pack. This is the one we pulled. I've been holding on to it for a while, and I'm finally going to send it in. First of all, it's just enjoy the Starlight Rare. It looks amazing. I think we are going to hit up some more, uh, not brothers, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge soon. Centering, I think maybe a little off. We're going to go 9.5. Corners appear to be good. You got to check on the back for real in the corners. That's where you can really tell. Okay look really pristine and sharp back looks good i mean there's a little maybe there's a little line right there that's going to give us a 9.5 surface i think at least i think this probably has the best chance of getting like a 10 but the centering probably not they'll probably get like a nine or something but i'm gonna go 9.5 centering 9.5 edges honestly i want to go 10 edges 10 corners and then 9.5 surface for a 9.5 overall but i do think that it's possible that they give us like a nine on centering it goes super harsh on that they give us harsh on the surface because of the line thing on the back which you can barely see so that's my my original guess though but i'm just saying that could happen uh yada Garasu, i don't remember what i predicted it was probably pretty high but i don't know if i would ever said 10 because it's so hard to get tens at bgs because you have to get at least least three 10 subgrades out of four it's almost impossible to get so let's just see what we got yada garasu you guys just saw what i predicted mint nine centering 8.5 oh my goodness what happened here an 8.5 on the centering hello do we need to get the ruler out does anyone see 8.5 centering how's the back I mean, it's not fantastic, but 8.5. Look at that. Edges, corners, tens. Surface, 9.5 and 8.5 centering. That's unbelievable. If we just got a nine on the centering, this would be a 9.5. This makes absolutely no sense. Wow. I don't I don't know about that. Let me know in the comments how you feel about that one. I am not feeling too good. Centering shifted this way on the back and then on the front. I mean, like barely shifted a little bit up. So like it's slightly that way. But wow, that does not look like 8.5 to me. That is pretty rough because that card is like, you know, 10, 10, 9.5 the rest of the way. All right, next card. We have five cards in this. This looks like another. Well, actually, this might be our ultimate rare Majestic Star Dragon. I'm not really sure. It is. OK, we have the Majestic Star Dragon that we pulled the other day out of a 10. That was a heck of a pull. First edition ultimate rare. So this is a pretty nice card. I remember it did have some uh, uh, ultimate rare in in in. What am I trying to say? Stamping? I was going to say implant. That's definitely not what it's called. OK. Corners look good on this card. Look very strong. Surface on the front looks good. Centering looks pretty good. The back, it's basically this box, which I think is going to probably give us like a nine or something. Corners appear to be like, honestly, like 10. I don't think we'll get a 10, but I am going to guess 10 because these are the best corners we've seen yet. So I'm going to say we get a 10 on the corners. The centering appears to be good too, but you never get a 10 on centering. So I'm going to say 9.5. How about the edges? Anything on the edges? Surface, I'm going to go with nine because of the box. But honestly, this card's a really nice shape. I want to say 9.5 edges. So I'm going to go nine, two 9.5s and a 10, an overall 9.5. I think we can get that. This card is in really, really good condition. That would be a huge hit. If we somehow got a 9.5 on the surface too, that'd be really awesome. This card was super nice. I think I predicted this to have actually pretty high grade. I was being a little optimistic, but you never know with that back stamping at BGS. I don't know if they're going to crush it on the surface or not. Card looks absolutely amazing to me though. We did pull this in a video. Let's flash back and check that out real quick. If this is a, a ghost right here, it's huge, or any of the secret rares, let's see. An ultimate rare Majestic Star Dragon first edition! Oh my gosh! No way! Not only is it first dead, but it's an ultimate rare Majestic Star Dragon. Oh my God. I didn't even notice it was first edition. And then we pulled this. All right. Now, now that we're back from reliving the moment, what do we think we got? I predicted, I think all the subgrades in this. So we're going to have to see how close I was. 
a nine. Okay, so we got 8.5 corners, 9.5 centering, nine surface, nine edges. Wow, 8.5 corners. Okay, I don't remember what I predicted for this car, but I thought, I remember thinking it was pretty minty. Corners, anybody see anything on the corners? Honestly, I'm not seeing anything, like at all. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Right there. A slight bit of whitening right there. Back surface. I mean, that got a nine with it with the stamping. It kind of makes sense. Okay, centering got a 9.5 on this. Okay, what's the difference here in centering? Honestly, the centering looks immaculate on this Majestic Star. That should be 10 centering. That's what I think. Overall, though, the grades were way worse in terms of like the Yada was like almost a 10 on everything except for the centering. This one wasn't even close to 10. It only had one 9.5. The rest was 8.5 or 9. So that thing kind of got destroyed on that one, but that's okay. Third card out of five. What could this be? I don't remember what... This is the last Yu-Gi-Oh card, I think, because we had two Pokemon cards that we got out of those cubes. I don't remember what, what the other Yu-Gi-Oh card was. Uh, an Aqua Neos. All right, we got an Aqua Neos. We pulled this the other day. This is a gold stamp. This is not a silver stamp because we pulled it out of the Power of the Duelist pack. Let's see what we can get on this. Centering is not perfect. We're already looking at probably 9.5 centering, maybe even nine because sometimes they're super harsh on the centering. I'm going to go 9.5. Back, there's a slight, slight thing right there. There's this, which probably takes off. So I'm going to say we get a nine or a 9.5 on the surface. Not sure yet. Let's see. The corners look... Not perfectly cut on that one, so that might hurt. I'm going to say 9.5 corners on that. So I'm going to go optimistic on the centering. 9.5, 9.5 uh, corners as well. Surface, I'm going to go probably a 9 because of the indent on the back. And then edges, I'm going to go 9.5. So I think we get a weak 9.5 or 9.5 minus, as they call it. 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9. That's my guess. All right, let's just see what it got. We've already done the pre-grade. Uh, let's see if I got any of the subgrades right. Ooh, nice. We got a 9.5. It's a quad 9.5. So this thing is just basically that people say a quad 9.5 is like equivalent to a PSA 10, even though it's like obviously lower, lower number, but 9.5. This is what you want, because if you get anything less, like if you get a nine on any of these, it's like a weak 9.5 because it's one away from being a nine. So this one is pretty solid because it has all 9.5s. I mean, that's pretty awesome. How's the back? OK, not as severe of an indent, but you definitely can see it, though. And this got a 9.5. Our first gold label of the submission. That is pretty Pretty cool. Aqua Neos Ultimate Rare. That's sick because it's an elemental hero. You got to love that. I'm excited about that. I'll take a quad 9.5 any day, to be honest. Very solid grade. I don't really love these cases, but you know, it's fun to do BGS. It's, it's fun sometimes. All right, last two, we have our Pokemon cards that we got in those cubes the other day. Here is the Pokemon. So we're going to we're going to flip this around, not spoil it. OK, Umbreon first. We have Umbreon and Espeon. This card is pretty nice. The only thing is the corners, I think. So the surface on it looks pretty nice. Maybe like a tiny dot right there. Not a ton going on. Maybe the edges are not like perfectly cut. And then the back looks pretty good as well. It's pretty clean, but that corner looks good. OK, that corner has a little whitening right there. That's usually what you got to look for on Pokemon because the blue. It's so easy to see if there's any like corner issues. That one kind of has the same thing there. And then that one does as well. So they all kind of have like a little white dots, which is not a huge like deal, but I bet it'll get like a nine on the corners because we're looking at subgrades now. So last time I did BGS, it was extremely hard to get tens on anything. So I'm going to say we get nines on the corners. I think there was a little bit on one of the edges. I'm going to go 9.5 on the edges. I'm going to go centering. How do we even see the centering on this card? Centering appears to be pretty good. Maybe it's shifted a little bit that way. I think this is 9.5 worthy, but I bet they give it a nine. I'm going to say nine centering. And then I'm going to say 9.5 service. So I think we get a nine overall. That's my guess. So I'm putting all four subgrades out there. 9.5, 9.5, 9.9. So we're going to get a nine overall. I think maybe we could get a 9.5. That would be really exciting if we did. These are both really awesome cards. Umbreon beautiful looking prime card i i think i thought these that were like nine ish area maybe even 8.5 because they weren't absolutely perfect but i just really like the card so i wanted to like send them somewhere and bgs had a great special going on that's why i did it to be honest they had a two-day special it was like two-day turnaround once they got it which is a crazy fast and it was only like 50 bucks each compared to psa that'd be like 500 bucks for a two-day turnaround so this was pretty cool and that's why i did it let's just see what we got here we go OK, we got a nine. That makes sense. What do we get? Nine centering, 8.5 corners, edges, 9.5 service. I remember the corners being a little bit iffy on these. And with Pokemon, it's blue, so it's a lot easier to see. Like a blue versus white is very different. 8.5, I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, right there, you can see there's some stuff going on in those bottom corners. But this card was pretty clean besides that, it, especially for being in a cube for however long that was, probably like 15 years. And honestly, everything besides those corners was pretty solid. The centering, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. I mean, you can't even really tell. I mean, where? how's the centering bad on this card? I don't get it. Centering is... 
it's dumb. It's dumb. Like, you look at this card, you're like, wow, it looks great. Like, centering, there's no eye appeal taken away from this card. Or pretty much any of the cards from the centering. The 8.5 on the Ada, you don't look at this and think, man, that thing's off-centered. No, you don't even notice it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be killing the grade. I mean, it doesn't really matter because the 8.5 corners, but... This is a beautiful card. I'm excited about the nine. I think that's pretty fair for the, you know, overall grade. All right, our final card of the submission. It is our final Pokemon card. It is an Espeon. Espeon Prime card. We also got this from a cube. I think these cards look absolutely amazing. I know we don't do a ton of Pokemon, but everyone likes the Evolutions, and these Prime cards just look awesome. So I had to send these in somewhere. And since it only takes two days, we'll be able to get this back pretty quickly. I'm pretty excited for that. Surface on this card. Let's see. What do we think we're going to get? top there might be something going on with that edge right there i think the corners are a little bit more jacked up on this one let's see this corner yeah that one is gonna really hurt that corner is pretty bad that one's got slight whitening that one's got slight whitening yeah so i think these at these corners are probably 8.5 because of that maybe nine if we get lucky probably 8.5 though there's definitely something on the surface right there i'm gonna say we get a nine surface because of that edges have something going on up top i'm gonna say we get probably nine edges and then centering, we probably get, I think we could get a 9.5. Centering seems a little better on this. We'll say 9.5 on that. I think that still gives us a nine, but it's a worse nine. So 8.5, 9, 9, 9.5 is what we're looking at. That's my guess for this Espeon. Beautiful. I would take a nine. I think it'd be pretty cool. Looks awesome. Looks amazing. I mean, there's not much to do at this point because like we have to cover it up with this card ridiculously. I know it's insane, but... This card looks amazing. I actually put this on Twitter. And I said, who likes Espeon or Umbreon more? Let me know. It's a pretty intense battle. So let me know in the comments, which one do you think is better? Espeon, Umbreon, specifically Prime cards or in general. I don't care which one you guys pick. Let's see what it got. Okay, another nine. It got 8.5 corners, nine, nine, nine. So this one actually did a little worse because this one had uh, 9.5 edges. This one only has nine on everything. So this is like a weak nine. So this is almost an 8.5, which would have been pretty rough. But the corners did, you know, you can see some whitening going on there. Got some whitening down there. I mean, yeah, this is, there's some pretty rough corners on these. But besides that, these cards are really awesome. I really like the looks of them. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do more BGS because I've said this many times. I just don't love the cases. I mean, I do have more of them now, so they, maybe I can stack them together and it'll fit better where I'm storing everything. But I think CGC is just, it's easier to do the CGC returns because I can go one at a time on the subgrades and that's more fun. This, they're kind of like stacked in a square, so you can't do it as well. So I think CGC is more fun for the return and then I like the cases more. So we'll probably do more of them. The thing with this BGS deal though was it was crazy good value for $50. You get it back so fast. And I was like, you know what? I'm a sucker for fast grading. Let's do it. Let's try it out. So overall, I'm still pretty happy about it. 9.5 in this Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. It's like impossible to get 10 to BGS. I, I've just figured I'm never going to get one. Honestly, though, I do kind of want to try a series where we go for a black label and I just submit a bunch of minty cards to see if we can get one. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll have more grading videos coming up. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Say Age 21, Frankie Martinez, and a tie show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.